up, Angel. Oh. Don't let go. It's okay. Hang on Just it. hold him away from him. You can handle this one. He's not going to get you. There you go. Smile break. Look at that. Good job. This is a chrome Lucky I Charms J-plug. I don't know who makes this one. This is my first time running it. It's pretty sweet. It's mostly just an attractor. We'll send it down next to a few spoons. It's got a rattle in it. The spoons are pretty quiet. So we'll get down there a little bit of noise, get a little smell down there too, and hopefully that'll be the difference between all the rest of these boats that are out here. We gotta try to beat them somehow. Because these, these fish have seen a lot of lures today, that's for sure. Green Dragon Slayer, yellow gasoline. We'll get her to go. Put a little fresh meat on her. Be happy. Let's get the scissors. This here is good stuff. Oh, tasty. Yeah, that looks good, John. It's so tasty. Oh, baby. I always skip the appetizers, so they'll make me fat. It's very salty, though. I'm going to ask for a less salted one. Yeah. This one's giving me gas. Salt break. <laughs> Yep, we'll get all our daytime lures on. Oh, oh ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> that you? Yep, I'm switching to daytime bait. Green Dragon Slayer with a fresh piece of the meat. Uh, Two Face, Two Face Glow. Oh, the old hypocrite. Green on one side, black on the other. It's a eight-inch spin doctor made by our buddy Dreamweaver. Excellent rig. This one banged a couple times, but just short biters. Short, short, short biters. And we'll get this glow off. This in this in the dark is phenomenal. But, not dark anymore, so we get our daytime lures out. Get all these on. This is our high diver, though. This is the wrong one. Oh, this one right here is done very well. This is like a custom blue bubbles on a chrome 8 inch. It's got these blue bubble teasers mixed with a pickle sunshine meathead. Just a clear meathead. So it goes like this, big routes. This thing will spin, Where's that big one? and then this will shake, and then the this will spin faster. The next one's gonna be a monster. One of my guys would go up and fish for spear salmon for spawn. Like the other one, just like it if it doesn't have the brown spot. <laughs> I used to have some pencil plugs like that in St. Clair River. Right. Well, they had red and white ones with black dots for eyes. They were homemade things and them things. Reach out. We got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got you a nice river ride.
Wow. Okay, let's see if you can hold the lure like your brother couldn't. It's the same size fish. Tracy, you grab my phone for me. Okay. Hold on, nice and tight to that lure. Got Don't it. Let it go. Oh man, he's a whopper. We're gonna get you in the small fish category, yeah. <laughs> All right, now hold him out. <laughs> That right side out. Let go of your bottom head. Let him out there. There you go. Right there. Right there. <laughs> For the small one, huh? <laughs> yeah, you go on a small fish catalog, hey, baby. That's a good eating one right there, baby. That's a tasty one, isn't it? That'll be the best salmon sandwich you ever had. Yes, it will. Is there a towel? No, we don't allow you to use towels. <laughs> Tracy Rodbutt. You okay in there? Drink. Go ahead, I got it. I'm just gonna join you guys. You okay, Paul? Well, yep, yeah, I'm good. There's a chair over there, too. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. That's, one one that's a big fish. There you go. Put the lean up over the reel. Pull the line out. Put this lean up here. And I'll reel. Put up there. Okay. I can't reel it. You can do it. Just don't give up, Angel. I'm my old lady, old man, boy. So we're going to turn it into the young lady, boy. That's going to give her a tussle. Good job, Angel. You got that fish out there. What did we say? It was going to feel like a shark? Huh? Is that what we said? My arm hurts. <laughs> You getting wore out? Yeah. You're almost there, sweetheart. You're almost there. Yeah. You got it, man. Almost got it. Holy moly. You okay, sweetheart? My arm hurts. You're almost there, sweetheart. Y'all try it. It's easy. Let's get right in it. Come on. Let's Don't right. let him win. Keep going. There he comes, guys. Yeah, I can see him coming. See the color. Fishing behind the hatchery boat today. There's our catch. As soon as they let him go, we catch him. And <laughs> yeah, we've only been able to snag four so far. Huh? <laughs> we can't hold on to any big ones. We've hooked up four nice ones and we can't. They're just not holding on to hooks today. Brand new hooks on a lot of them. I changed them. You can see this big hook. A lot of times when the cohos will bang this hook, they'll go right into a spin. And sometimes the big ones tweak them a little. I stay on them on sharpening. Pretty on them. This one is not too dull. A little bit bendy. I'll probably get a new hook on this one real soon. But it's only, shoot, probably four or five fish old of a hook. That's how much punishment we take here. 
So what do we got? Four in the box now? It's been a pretty good morning. Uh, <clears throat> fish are biting really slow this morning. Uh, we've got five in the box. Uh, Angel's got the biggest fish so far. Um, but we haven't gotten any big ones yet. Not really big ones. What do you think, Angel? Um, so far it's been really fun and it's been a really hard they're pretty Fishing. tough. Yeah, it's pretty hard to really lose the biggest one. Yeah, tell them, tell them who lost the biggest one. Um, who did? Boy, I couldn't hear that. You're not gonna see Mike, are you? <laughs> Mike did. Well, yeah. And it's been really a big fight. And John, Johnny, Johnny must have did. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really big fight with the fish, and we're waiting for the biggest one to come to the boat. There you go. Oh, nice and quiet. Times bigger than my first. This one. might be a monster cool, I can't tell. Really? See which one he bit. He bit that sexy green Lucky Charms crawl. It's a beautiful lure. Let's see if we can drag him out. I didn't even hear that one hit. I didn't either. That was a wire. That's a lot. Like, 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 we gotta be quiet. Do you want to jinx it? Yeah. I have a quiet fish. Hooked right in the eye. Really? See that? Oh, man. That's perfect. Yeah, that's how we want them. No wonder he didn't fight That'll too teach him. <laughs> dirty little bro. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. What is that, a king or a goat? I believe it's a king. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Touch it, Mike? He doesn't really like to catch them. He likes to get hit across the face with their tails. You gotta, you gotta get he, he likes day. this. You gotta get him real. <laughs> but you gotta stay out of his range so he don't get you back. There's never a place you can hide. Very, very quiet. I got a tip. I got a tip toe. Hey, take a picture of the feet. What do you think of him? You're up, Paul. There's a guy down the road that has a great hunting spot and he's blind. And I always think, I wonder if he'd see me sneak in there. <laughs> Probably not. When we got a fish on with it way up like this, but we can actually point it at it because it's not directly at the fish. So any stress or any pounding or any bounce that would get would be absorbed by the board. So you can actually, with the fish on, point it right at it. Then you're not fighting the pole. You can just drop the pole and reel like this. And then you'll know, watch when the board starts to skip. When it comes in here close, it'll start to skip and want to dig. See like that? And then you lift her high and try not to let it back in the water. Because if it goes back in the water, watch this. That board will dig like that. And then it'll want to, you'll be taking pressure off the fish at that point. So I can see that. So if I point it at it, it comes back up. 
head, keep it nice and high, drag it over to me so I can unleash the board, and then you just fight it normal after. I can picture that, John. I can picture what you just explained. Good. I did a good job. I'm glad he explained it, because that's all we're going to catch tomorrow, the board fish. Right. That's it. I'm definitely going to work harder on these boards. Some days I can really get them going, and some days they, I really struggle. Today was definitely a struggle day. This is copper line. It's silver coated copper. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I wonder what they coat it with to make it silver. Just like a silver coating. As they do it out, take it off and stretch it, they'll just put a little quick coating over the top of it. Yeah. I just like the silver better than the copper looking for. I don't know why, but. Sometimes it's stiffer, it feels stiffer, and sometimes it's limber. Are you going to take a nap when you get back? And turn around in this corner over here. Yup, hold your sticks on you. Hold this one out right here. Hold, yep, you can kind of rest your stick against you a little bit. Hold that one right there. Okay, I'll stay right there. Facing my camera. My phone, please. Now he's coming. Yeah. Don't forget that lapel. Okay, now kind of hold him out in front of you and turn him sideways and don't forget to smile, okay? Okay, look up this way. Hold him up as high as you can. A little higher, a little higher. Look up this way as you do it. There you go. You making you grunt? Good job. No. Good job. Those ones didn't get you, not too bad. You didn't even get dirty, did you? Yeah. All right, good job. Way to go, Angel. August 22nd, uh, it's the uh, first day of our fourth week of salmon fishing. Uh, this was a, a, a really fun trip. We didn't catch any big fish, but we ended up with six in the box. Uh, Angel caught the biggest one, as always. The kids always get the biggest one. I don't know why that happens. So what did you think, Angel? That was your first salmon fishing trip. Tomorrow we're going to bang them, though. Hopefully. Um it was a big fight with the fish. Tomorrow I'm hoping that it will be much more fun than today. We were fighting with the fish. It was a long run and we weren't getting as many bites as we were hoping. And tomorrow I'm hoping that there will be more biting of the fish than Today. Yeah, we had four of them get away from us today. Yeah. And this is uh, Paul, uh, Angel's grandfather. So tomorrow's a new day. We're going to see if we can't do better tomorrow. We're going to smash him. Hey, mm -hmm. thanks, Angel. <laughs> when we first started this foundation, uh, and we, we started it in California, but when we actually first started working with clients, um, we had a lot of people that we met that never dreamed they'd be able to do the kind of things that we're teaching them how to do. And uh, matter of fact, I had a kid that I was working with from Louisiana, and he's got retinitis pigmentosis. He's going blind, but he ain't there yet. And we invited him to come to the camp, and he hunted, and I ended up getting a deer uh, just before dark opening day, and it really bothered me because I live right. I lived right there at the time, and I could get a deer anytime I wanted to. And I was sitting there praying to God, "Why me? I'd have rather seen Isaiah get this deer." And uh, I just kind of dropped it. And later on that night, Isaiah's grandpa came up to me, and he says, "Mike, you have no idea how important it was to Isaiah that you got that deer." And I asked him, "I said why?" And he says, "Because." He's, he's going blind, he knows it's coming and he's so scared. And he says, he came up to me and said, do you realize today the only guy who got a deer was a guy who can't see nothing? He says, I'm gonna be able to still do this. And that's what we're shooting for, is to let these guys know they don't have to quit. There's lots of things that they can still do. It doesn't have to be hunting and fishing. That's the lure or the bait that we use to get these guys to come in here so that we can work with them. 
we're what you would call pre-rehabilitation. You have an accident like what happened to me happen in your life at 32 years old where you go totally blind instantly. Um, you're going to have to rethink what you've been thinking. If you're interested in donating, we have a, a website. It's Christ Outreach for the Blind. and We're just hooking it up on PayPal this week. So we'll have a way to donate there. We also have a Gmail account, which is Christ Outreach for the Blind at gmail.com. Then if you need to contact me personally, my landline is 231-629-8443. Thanks a lot and have a great night.